Hey, are you okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little girl you saw with Andrew before? She's dressed different. Don't get too close. Get me out of here! We got you! Tell me that didn't just happen. Quiet now. We go. What are you talking about? Get away or you will find me. Come on out, Mary. I know very well you're in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I'm sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! What is this? Let's get out of here. Pleading with. Evil clings to you. That is plain to see. You are mistaken. I am a child. The devil has no time for me. Amy is the one he craves. I have seen it with my own eyes. I will have the truth one way or another. <laughs> you come with me, girl. Can someone tell me what just happened? The girl with the priest. That's the one I saw with Andrew. There must be a connection between her and the other girl. I think you're right. I... I don't get it. We have to get away from here. Far away. Agreed. Let's go. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. <clears throat> Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Here, need a hand? Ah. Let me help you. Ah. Shit, I'm real sorry. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Wherever it leads, it's wreaking havoc on my shoes. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path.
place must have been a grocery store or something. Over here, look at this. What are you doing? Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, I've got no choice. Find another way. Now what? Give me a leg up. I'm going for the stairwell. Seriously? You're going in there? Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. I'm not sure. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. It'll be fine. You got Angela here with you. Don't take a Sunday morning stroll when you get in there. Be right back. Promise. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Throw it to me. Hey! Oh, I'm really sorry. It was an accident. <laughs> oh, shit. This was fresh out of the box. I'll get you another one, brand new, once we're out of here. Damn right you will. I'm in. Is it safe? Think so. You gave me a shock. 
Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How is it in there? This place is creeping me out. It's full of old ass, useless shit. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Can you step on it? We'd like to get out of here sometime. Sure thing. Hold on. I'll be right there. Will you relax? I'm coming. troubles you. Tell me, what is happening? Sona will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What? I don't know you. John? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Something ails you. What? You seem changed, even your attire. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You will be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this. My word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? You're not gonna believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. John too? To me, it looked like they were married. I know I can get arrested for bad taste in husbands, but god damn. Look like John and look like Angela were an item? Do not say another word, Missy. What kind of weird shit are we mixed up in here? Oh, we've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town.
What do you think? Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. These small town police stations all look the same. There's gotta be a phone in here someplace. Keep looking. <laughs> Fucking thing. I thought this was her way out. Real nice. There's got to be something. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Line's dead. <coughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. thinking I know what's wrong. Please do share. There's no cable plugged in. 
Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. What is that? What do you think? Answer it. I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. Sounds real upset. Talk to her. Try to get some details, her location, anything we can use to find her. Not all here in Little Hope are willing for the truth to out. Okay. Cool it, will you please? I can help you out here, but before I can do that, you need to tell me where you are. Push harder. Find out what the fuck is going on. I'm on it. Tell me exactly where you are. Are, are, you, are you in town someplace? As I walked, a man and a woman appeared at my front. I had not seen them approach. I, I reached out in fear. I did not know them. Their clothes and manner of speaking were not familiar to me. They spoke of things that I could not make sense of. I swear I do not know where it came from or what this man wanted of me. I could not make sense of the things he spoke of. You must believe me, I beg you. I'm so falsely accused of crime. speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shut you. Well, now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time is gone begging. Go be with you, kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay quiet. We just let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors, those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness. But I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. 
I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. Let us conclude our business here without further ado, lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me, sir? We will the see the truth of it. Her. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if I am correct, your you touch no will danger. release her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. Please. The master can help you now. It's too late. They are here among us. They are here among us. No! What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Felt pretty damn real to me. Seriously? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. The woman we just saw condemned I saw her back at the intersection. She was in deep shit. And she knew it. It was tough to watch. Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor, we're in here. We can't open the damn doors. Uh, we can't either. They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. Uh, uh, let's try again. Put everything you've got into it. Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Are you okay? I'm fine. Why the concern, John? What's bugging you? We saw Angela's double get tried and condemned for being a witch. Okay, so now what? Uh, 
We've already tried a few places and come up with nothing. Except enough weird shit to put us in therapy for life. Forget about what's happened so far. Our best shot at finding help is in town. Really? Forget about what's happened? There's some real scary shit going down in the outskirts and our plan is to stroll into the center of Weirdsville? Just a suggestion, but maybe we should figure out what the fuck is going on here first. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea, but how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. The trial, the strange girl, Angela's double, feels like it's all building towards something. Only question is, are we headed someplace good or bad? And bad is probably very, very bad. <laughs> 